Yeah, anytime you think it's always you got different. DMT figured out, your next trip is going to be a mind bender. Your your next trip is you get cocky going in there like I've done this before. I'm just pretty relaxed about my DMT trip. So I used to really freak <laughs> out, but I don't anymore. Bitch, you better be scared. You better be scared. You're white knuckling it right now. You're going to go deep. And Gabor, said, Gabor Mate said the same thing about Aya. He's done hundreds of ceremonies and he still gets nervous you every shouldn't. fucking time he does. You should it. get nervous before you do anything that's important. It's a sign that you're getting ready for something crazy. Well, and there's a healthy level of respect. Mm -hmm. I think most people run into the issue, you know, they, they want. They want to alter their consciousness and they'll take a substance thinking like this is going to make me feel a certain way. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they got to deal with some shit. They got to work through something and that's not what they had on their radar. Right? Yeah. No, I, I, I agree. And, and then also this need to control the experience is always the thing that fucking sends everybody off the rails and into the woods. If they are having any kind of experience, this need to control that experience, like no, there's no, no, fuck this, I'm sitting down, you know, and like no, man, you got to let go. If you don't let go, you're gone, and you got to surrender to it. And I, if you don't, you're gonna go through 15 minutes of Satan. You know? I was with my old man in uh, Panama at the tribal gathering, and we we're both doing a ayahuasca ceremony together, and uh, we had the first cup, and it's strong. Like Shapibo Shaman came in, fucking amazing experience. And uh, they offered the second cup, and I'm like, get up, dude, we're doing it. And he's like, oh, Whoa. I don't know. And I'm like, come on, let's go. So we take the second cup, we come lay back down. And I've had, I mean, to ballpark, I've had, there's been ceremonies where I've had four cups, and it was launch, you know. This two cup, that's where we were, fucking launched. So we go back into the teepee, and, uh, you know, noble silence. We're not talking to each other, and he just grabs my arm, and he's like, I'm going to leave. I'm floating out of here. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And I was like... Fuck yeah, dude. Let go. Let go. Go with it. Now's your opportunity. Let go. See wh where it takes you. And he's like, no, no, I'm not letting go. I want down. I want down right now. It's too much. I'm too high. And I'm like, well, high's not the right term. And this other guy from Switzerland hurt us. And he goes, uh, here, yeah, rub some uh, peppermint on his on his wrist. It will help him. And oh, he came over and fucking Christ. we put peppermint oil and that grounded him. Wow. But then after that, you know, he's done ayahuasca since then. And he was like, fuck, that was my opportunity to fucking break through and go it's deeper than I've ever been before, but I wasn't prepared. I wasn't ready to let go and surrender to it. Wow. And that's, that's it, man. You want to have that mindset going in where if you face some shit, it's okay. You mm -hmm. know? And if you have the opportunity, especially in fucking DMT or ayahuasca, which is DMT-based, like to have that ability, like, all right, the it, answer is yes. It makes you wonder what the guys who created yoga were doing. I think I think those people like those people that learn how to do those long holding poses and that they were practicing it you know, there's a lot of belief that those people were eating a lot of hash like especially the the earliest people that were that created it and they were soma whatever the fuck soma was you ever hear mm -hmm, references mm -hmm. to soma I don't I don't even think they know what that is some sort of a psychedelic but that whole practice of yoga if you really think about it, a lot of what yoga is like you have to just breathe and just concentrate on maintaining the pose you have to put yourself into this like surrender zone you know you can't like fight a position you just kind of kind of accept it and just concentrate on breathing and hold it as long as you can until your body starts giving out and then you let it go again but i think that prepares you in some way to let go in psychedelic experiences i think that people that don't have any um, if you don't have any kind of physical altercation with your body, there's no like moment where you're like, come on, man, come on, breathe, 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 go, go, go. If you don't have any of those, if you never, I mean, I don't give a fuck what you're doing, whether it's a spin class or, or just, if you never have anything where you're pushing yourself when you don't want to do it, but you make yourself do it and then you did it. If you don't have those, like those little moments where you overcame something that feels uncomfortable, then those those bends in the trip road are scary dark because yeah. you don't have any success in coming back from f bad states you don't have any success from in coming back from like feeling really scared or feeling really nervous like those build up a database if you don't have a lot of success in doing those or especially uh success in getting your body to just fucking relax just fucking relax it's just a broken leg if you don't have that in you like it's it's probably real hard to navigate some of the darker roads of a trip where you just have to just <laughs> just kind of just breathe and just try to stay as calm as you can. Let it embrace you as calm as you can. Well, I think that it, it works both ways, too. You know, like you have. If you put yourself in, in uncomfortable 
stressful spots in everyday life, like a cold bath or the cryo, and you come and you can stay calm in the in the fucking eye of the storm and come out of that. That extrapolates out in life. Somebody cuts you off in traffic, you're a little bit more chill. It's yeah. not that big of a deal. And same thing in the psychedelic experience. You go through some rough shit, you come out of that, okay, all right, I still have my body. I was able to work through that. Now it kind of lowers the noise on all the bullshit in life. Yeah, I agree. 